Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. We're getting ready to make salmon patties. Uh, these salmon patties are made just like you would make crab cakes. And you have to use the pink salmon because it's not as mm, fishy as the red salmon. But here are the ingredients. We'll need one third a cup of um, red bell pepper. Let me turn the camera so you can see. The juice from one lemon, about a third of a cup of shredded onion, some uh, breadcrumbs, Old Bay seasoning, dill weed, one third a cup of self-rising flour, one egg, and of course a 14 and three-fourths ounce can of pink salmon. All right, now let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is dump my salmon in a bowl after I've drained it. Just drain it as thorough as you can. And the next thing I'm going to do is pick off the skin. See the skin there? I'm going to take all that off. Now my dogs will get this treat later, okay? So I'm not just wasting it. But you want to uh, have a real mild tasting seafood so any that's dark on there or the skin you want to remove so that you've just got the pink meat from the salmon. Now I don't particularly like salmon patties. In fact I don't like them at all but I love this. Um, now my sister told me about this recipe and of course I've altered it a lot uh, because I didn't like the recipe she gave me. However, I did like it better than just regular salmon patties. So, so try to get all that uh, dark skin off because that's where that fishy, real fishy taste is going to come from. Sometimes I just use a spoon to rake it off. And again, I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to actually mix it in with the dog's food tonight because they love fish, but they don't get it very often, just once in a while. So see how I'm raking all the dark off, all of it, and all the skin. And of course, any bones you'll want to take out also. You see, there's some skin. I'm just going to scrape it off with my fingers. Okay, there we have it. Then you want to just crumble that up in your bowl. Any little bones, you want to pick those out also. Just crumble it all up with your fingers. Okay, now we're going to add the one-third cup of shredded onion. Now shred those so I don't run across any big hunks of onion. Just shred them on your shredder. Third of a cup of red bell pepper. One third a cup of self-rising flour. And one whole extra large egg. Now I'm just going to mix that up a little bit. All right. Next, I'm going to put in the dill weed. And I'm just going to shake some in. Dill uh, weed goes very, very well with any kind of seafood. There it is, dill weed. Next, I'm going to use a tablespoon 
of this Old Bay seasoning. That's one whole tablespoon. And I know that seems like a lot, but it's, it's really not that much. I'll have to get it out of this side. There you go. Another tablespoon of that. Mix that all in. Next, I'm going to go ahead and pour into the juice of two lemons. Mix that all up thoroughly. And now, just for good measure, I'm going to put in a really big heaping tablespoon of breadcrumbs. All right, now it already smells like crab cakes. And it's going to taste like crab cakes, so so we can just mix that all up. Now I'm going to form it into patties, and then coat the patties with this uh, breadcrumbs, bread breadcrumb mixture there, and then I'm going to fry them. So we'll be back when I get these formed into patties, and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, the salmon uh, patties are. Uh, frying now. And by the way, I do fry those in a couple of tablespoons of butter and a little bit of canola oil. So for lunch, we're going to have some of my frozen collards, jasmine rice, and we're going to have some tomatoes over the rice. Now, I just call these stewed tomatoes. I just use a can of tomatoes with a little bit of butter. All right, now we're going to make the sauce to go on the salmon patties. And it's really, really simple. All I do is take a couple of really heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise, okay? Then cream style horseradish and a really heaping teaspoon of that, a whole bunch, right? And then I'm going to just squirt some ketchup in there. Not a whole lot, maybe you know, about three squirts. One, two, three. And then I'm just going to mix that up. Looks almost like Thousand Island dressing, except it's got horseradish in it. And it's not really that hot, but that horseradish will give it a, a real distinct taste, okay? All right, so this is the sauce that we're going to put over our salmon patties when they get done. All right, that can made eight patties. Let me take it over here so you can see. And I'm frying them in a couple of tablespoons of butter and a little bit of canola oil. Now when all this gets done and we're ready to plate it up, we'll be back. Okay, lunch is ready, and we are having the uh, salmon patties with the little uh, horseradish sauce on them, collard greens that I got at the farmer's market, and some jasmine rice with stewed tomatoes and a little piece of cornbread, and of course the ever-present iced tea. I want to show you a close-up of the salmon patties. Now, they do taste very, very much like crab cakes. And since I don't like salmon patties, this just works great for me. So we're going to go ahead and have our lunch, and we will see you next time.